Hey guys, welcome to number four in the crash course. We're talking about engine conversion today. It's gonna be awesome. There's really about three, three main ways to convert an engine. I'm gonna show them all three of them to you in just a minute. This is the number one question I get asked is, how do I convert an engine? I've got some pretty good solutions for you. Some of them are brute simple. Some of them are pretty high tech. Let's start with a brute simple one and, and see how you like it. All right, so when we're converting an engine, we have first our engine and our engine intake. Then we have a supply of clean gas. And so now what we need to do is we need to bridge those two things with some sort of carburetor, some way of mixing the air and the fuel to the perfect amount for the engine. So, the brute simple approach is to run your clean gas to a pipe. That pipe runs and mates up to your engine intake. And then you tee in with another section of smaller pipe and you put a butterfly valve there. And then you can choose the air fuel ratio, get it set and you'll find a sweet spot and you can get engines to run. It's, um, it's you know, brute simple and basic. Obviously you can hook up some linkage to it. So if you're in a tractor or in a truck or somewhere, you know, you can modify it while you're driving. So, you know, it's rock solid, it's low tech, it works. It, it is more manual. Um, this is great for DC power where speed isn't such a um, critical factor. It's great for gas that you've maybe stored in a biogas bag. If you can keep nice even gas flow, this is a, a, actually a, a decent mixing solution. If you have a filter that's getting plugged up or a grate that's getting plugged up or, or something that's inhibiting your flow, it'll throw off the air fuel ratio on this. And so um, it's, you know, it does have its limits. All right, so this is more of our traditional off the shelf. This is a total air fuel ratio management system by governors of America. And this is, you know, this is a great setup, but it's limited to the engines that they produce it for. And so it's really like a, like a four cylinder, 25 kilowatt, um, coal or genset would be the minimum for this, which isn't a bad deal. Um, but it controls the, um, engine throttle and it also controls the gas flow. And so it's a total thing about 1500 bucks for this pretty long lead times, you know, kind of challenging to put together, but it's, it's definitely an option that's out there. Um, so check into that. Again, it's not, not a one size fits all for, for everything though, unfortunately. All right. And if you don't want to do one of the first two options, what we did here was a custom setup and uh, we did this for the conversion workshop. All we did was we took an O2 sensor from a vehicle. We take the, the voltage output from it and we run it into a little Arduino microprocessor. There's a little piece of uh, software written, and then it just takes that code and, and directs this um, servo motor here to adjust the air control valve, and it meters the airflow in the air fuel ratio automatically. Works awesome. And you can update the code, you can do all sorts of stuff. So I'm looking forward to see what, what people do with this. So we did this as a, as a part of our um, full conversion. We put it together in this book, the Electronic Carburetor Workshop. That's going to be coming out real soon. Might even be out by the time you watch this video. And it answers those tough questions about how to hook up your, you know, your free gas system to your engine. And now we make it just as easy as possible. Let's come, come check out some build footage from the workshop. I think you're really going to, you're really going to like it when you see it in action.